when we're doing our CT, we're trying to find out exactly where the prostate is sitting that day, or the prostate bed. It could be a fossa uh, treatment. The day that we do the initial CT, we put marks on the patient so that we know exactly where we're at for that time when, when we're doing the scan. That is a good general location for a starting point every day for the alignment. So that day that we do the scan and we put the marks on the patient, after the CAT scan itself is completed, we give the patient three tattoos. There's one on the right hip, one on the left hip, and one in the front. Those three tattoos are used each day the patient comes back in for the initial setting on the table prior to our doing our scan on the treatment machine so that we can actually fine tune exactly where that area is internally that day. The prostate is not really glued into one spot in the body. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a kid's kite on a string because it floats. The, the amount of fluid in the bladder will push the prostate down. The amount of stool in the rectum can actually push the prostate up. And having said that, if both are full, it can take a gland that's normally shaped about like a walnut and turn it into a banana. So the reason that our scan is so important on a daily basis is we want to be able to make sure that a walnut is still a walnut because when they plan to treat, they're planning on a specific size. So if you come in with a different shape than what we have planned, obviously part of it's going to be left out. So we do our scan daily on the machine to fine tune exactly where the prostate or the prostate bed itself is sitting and also to verify that everything is clean and set up the way it's supposed to be on the inside. If things aren't right, we get the patient off of the table and we have them either go drink some water or go to the bathroom, whatever is necessary. But it's, it's critical to be able to treat properly and to treat completely to make sure that everything is right before you ever get started.